To make a blog post on your website, the first thing you're going to want to do is log into your admin. To get to your admin, go to the end of your domain name and type in forward slash wp dash admin. Again, that's your domain name, forward slash wp dash admin. Now once you come to this page, you'll need to enter your username and password. If you've lost your password, just click lost password and put in your email address and you'll get an email. Another feature is if you check this box, it'll remember you next time you come back so you don't have to enter your username and password again. Now when you come to this page, when you first get to your dashboard, to make a new blog post, you can roll your mouse over new and click post, or you can roll your mouse over posts and click add new. Both will take you to the same place. Now as you can see, here's where you enter the title of your blog post, and here in this area is where you'll enter the content. After you've entered the content, or the text, you can also add a picture. To add a picture, click this button right here. We'll first put the cursor where you want it to be, and then click this button right here. Now, you can just simply drag and drop the picture over this box, or you can hit select files. In this case, I'm going to drag a picture of this guy on here, and I will go ahead and float the picture to the right side of the screen. And I'm going to go ahead and type in the name here for better search engine optimization. And you can also use the alternate text too. Now, you can choose the size of the photo. I can go full size, or I can just go ahead and uh, use the smaller version. I'm going to go ahead and go full size. And as I said before, I'm going to make this image float to the right side of the screen. You can also do left, or you can do center. And as you can see, the image is there. And it nicely floated it to the, the, the right and put the text on the left. Now, if you want to make the image smaller after you've put it on the page, you can just click it and then click this button. From here, you can go, well, you know, it was a little big. I'll knock it down to only 70%. And then also, um, I decided I don't really want it to link to any, to actually link to the picture when clicked. I just want it to display it. So I can undo that. I could also type in an, a link to a different website and make the image link there. I'm just I'm going to hit update. And now, after adding a picture in the text, I need to choose what category I want it to be in. If the category I'd like isn't available, I can just click Add New Category. But I'll just go ahead and use this one. Now, for tags, you're going to want to put tags in here about what you're talking about. So, this may be a tag for this post. And it also may be a Those would all work as tags. And you just use a comma between the tags and hit add. And you can see I added three different tags. Now tags are really used by search engines to help locate your website. So when you make blog posts, be sure to use tags about what you're typing about if you want to get search engine traffic from that. So after I'm done, I just hit publish. And then two links come up here. I've got view post and get short link. Short link's kind of handy um, if you want a shorter version of the link, but it, you can also just click View Post. So as you can see, it takes me to the website and to my post, and I can see it here on the site. Now this has just been a very brief overview on how to make a blog post. Now you can also edit blog posts anytime by logging in and hitting Edit. And you can also edit your other posts um, just by clicking all posts and finding the post that you'd like to edit. If you do need more help with uh, making a blog post, please let us know and we'd be glad to help. And thank you very much for using My Modern Web.